Namaste. The word Namaste is made up of Namaha, which means I bow down, and Te means to you. So Namaste means I bow down to you. Have you ever wondered who am I and what is the purpose of my life? How do I improve my spiritual practice? Do I need a guru or a spiritual teacher in my life? How do I attain self-realization or God-realization? If you answered yes to any of these questions, then this channel is for you. I focus exclusively on spirituality, Vedanta philosophy, and our journey towards self-realization. I am Swami Nikhilananda, a disciple of a self-realized Guru Swami Jyotirmayananda of Miami, Florida. In 1953, Sri Swami Shivananda, the founder of Divine Life Society, Rishikesh India, initiated Swamiji into the ancient order of sannyasa. In today's video, we will discuss who is a Guru and how should you select a Guru to help you in your spiritual journey. I would like to dedicate this video to my Brahma Shotriya enlightened Guru, Sri Swami Jyotirmanandji Maharaj. Brahmanishta means established in Brahman or self-realized. And Brahma Shotriya means someone who can explain Brahman and the process of self-realization. Glory to the Guru Shishya relationship in which transfer of divine knowledge flows from the Guru to the disciple. Who is a Guru? The word Guru is made up of two letters. Gu means the cave or darkness and Ru means remover. So Guru is someone that removes your darkness and brings you into the light. Ignorance is darkness and knowledge is light. This transfer of knowledge from Guru to disciple is based on a sacred relationship that is built on faith and trust, self-effort and grace of the God and Guru. You may ask, do I need a Guru on the spiritual path? I would say to you, introspect and ask yourself these questions first. How many teachers in your life helped you to reach where you are today? Your first teachers are your parents who brought you into this world and taught you how to walk, talk, etc. So we, in reality are the sum total of all our learning experiences from multiple teachers. When just to earn a simple living in this physical world, we need so many teachers, then don't you think you need a qualified guru or a teacher who can guide you towards the right path in the spiritual world? There are mainly two types of gurus. One is a shikshit guru. Shikshit guru means Anyone who can teach you anything that you did not know before. You gain knowledge and you improve your intellect as a result. You can have as many Shikshit Gurus as you would like in this world since the world is immense and there are unlimited things to learn as you continue to evolve. Then the second one is the Dikshit Guru. This is your spiritual Guru who guides you with spiritual knowledge. This is the knowledge that can help you to attain self-realization, God-realization, liberation, or mukti. All these are synonymous terms and mean the same thing. The guru who initiates or gives you diksha becomes a dikshit guru for that disciple. Initiation process is generally with a mantra that is provided to the disciple and this binds the guru and disciple into a pure and sacred relationship. Therefore, selection of a proper guru becomes a project of significant importance in your spiritual journey. Choose your guru wisely and then follow his spiritual guidance with faith and respect. The divine law works in amazing ways and takes care of every soul. When the disciple is ready, the Guru will arrive. Have faith and intensify your spiritual practice and the divine energy will bring you the right Guru that is right for you. Now how to select a spiritual Guru? 
First of all, he must be fully qualified to guide you on the path of liberation. His whole life should be dedicated to guiding and inspiring spiritual souls. Do your full due diligence. Check the lineage of the Guru and fully satisfy yourself before you decide to get initiated. Remember, this is a major decision of your spiritual life. He must be full of humility and compassion. The Guru's heart should melt like butter on seeing suffering and although established in Brahman, he should be humbler than a blade of grass. Just like a tree with a lot of fruits bows down, a genuine Guru will bow down with humility to one and all and give fruits even to the ones that throw stones. Is he genuinely interested in your progress and wants you to transfer the knowledge? So that's who a Guru is. He wants you to bloom. He wants you to be successful. And he wants the knowledge of the scriptures shared with his disciples. He wants to help liberate as many souls as possible in this cycle of life and death. He does not stop or restrict you in any way. A guru cares about your welfare and your evolution and your spiritual progress. So he will not restrict you in getting knowledge from any other source. Rather, he encourages you to learn, grow, and become a moving temple of God. Radiate spiritual energy that you have derived from your Guru. He has a divine radiance, which some of you may call aura. And when you come in that sphere, you find peace and serenity. You experience purity or sattva. There are a few Sanskrit and Hindi shlokas that talk about the significance of the Guru and I will just briefly enumerate and then we will close this video for today. Dhyana Moolam Guru Murtim Puja Moolam Guru Padam Mantra Moolam Guru Vakyam Moksha Moolam Guru Kripa Dhyana Moolam Guru Murtim means just meditating on the form of my Guru is enough for me to go into ecstasy. Puja Moolam Guru Padam I worship my Guru's feet and that is my offering as a prayer. Mantra Moolam Guru Vakya Whatever mantra, whatever comes out of my Guru's mouth is like a mantra for me that is good for my evolution. Moksha Moolam Guru Kripa It's the Guru's grace that will help me to get through this cycle of life and death or liberation that is the significance of the Guru. This comes from the Guru Gita. Kabira had said, Sab dharti sa kagad karun, lekhani sab banarai, saat samundar masi karun, guru gun likha na jai. So what that means is, if I convert this entire earth into a paper, sab dharti kagad karun, lekhani sab banarai, if I take all the forests, all the wood and make pencils out of it, and still, Sadh Samundar Masikanu, if I take all the seven oceans and make ink out of it, that is still not enough to sing the glories of the Guru. So that is the significance of the Guru that the Sanatana Dharma or our philosophy brings on the forefront in your spiritual journey. So in this, dis in this video, we have discussed how to select a spiritual Guru. And in the next video, which is more important, we will discuss how to be a good spiritual aspirant because a guru can only help a serious spiritual aspirant who wants to move on this journey. If you like this video, please subscribe to this channel, leave comments, share with others and click on the bell icon so you can be alerted about any new videos that I'll be posting. Divine blessings to all of you. Namaste.